Hello, welcome today to the Mesmerland kitchen, right? And today, being Shrove Tuesday here in England, um, I thought we'd do some pancakes. But we've done some pancakes and we were quite sober. But now I'm not quite so sober, so I'm not too sure it's going to work out. I've got my butter ready, and I've got my recipes. I've got, I've got some Delia Smith recipes, right? Yes, zoom on Delia. Oh, we're going to zoom now on Delia. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Delia's told us how to do it, but ugh, can't be bothered. Now it's too pissed, so we're going to see how we get on. So this is the right amount of butter for, I don't know, 10 pancakes. We're going to, we're going to soften up some butter first. That's the number one thing to do. So there, in, in this pan it goes, and we're going to bring that down to a nice paste. Nice, 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 nice. Can I just point out some of the stuff we've been doing beforehand preparation? Before you even start doing your butter, <laughs> At least a bottle of champagne. Can't afford champagne like myself. Just a bottle of cava would do. All right. At least one of them before you melt your butter, and then mix it up a bit with some L's. Here we got a we got a few L's here to mix it up with. They're not going in the pancakes, but that's what we're going to be drinking during the uh, filming. All right. Now we've got a container, and we've got some plain flour and a sieve. And what we're going to do here while our butter is melting, I'll just check on What we're going to do now is we're going to sift some flour. I'm not going to bother measuring it out or anything. About that much. All right. Now what you really want to do is you've got to get the air into it. So, you know, as high as you can, but I'm going to get it on the floor here. A bit of sifting. Get the air into your flour, that's quite important. So chuck it about like that. Get quite a bit in the kitchen as well. Look at that, not even a lump. There we go, some nice sifted flour, about that much. That's how much you need, that much. All right, it's a very important measurement. Now, you don't want brown butter. So as soon as your butter is like that, that'll do for now. We're gonna keep that to one side. And I know we've got a non-stick pan, but... Can I just interrupt yeah. with an important well, announcement from our sponsors? <coughs> Okay. Oh, you need topping up then if it's good. I need that. I don't have that at the same time. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've got some um, unwaxed lemon here. And I, I've got the zest of this unwaxed lemon. I'm going to put, put a little bit of that in each pancake. If you like marmalade and that sort of thing, give it a little zesty edge. Very nice. Don't like that sort of thing. And then some sultanas. You. She doesn't like. Right. Eggs. You need two eggs. Right, do not use pickled eggs. <laughs> They're no good, right? They're hard, mm. you, you mash them up and it doesn't work. So what I'm gonna use for this recipe is I'm gonna use um, two freshly shat out the hen <laughs> eggs. All right? <laughs> so, oh right. no. Now make a hole in your, where are you gone? Oh, have I got to come in, have I? Well, it's best to. Otherwise, no one's going to see how to make pancakes and it's all going to go wrong. Make a make a hole in the middle, yeah? Just like mixing concrete, yeah? And then into the hole in the middle, we're going to put our, our two eggs. So, in they go. Number one. Oh, I can't see properly. No. Can you get that out of the way so I can actually do it? No. Nope. Well, look what I've done to this egg. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get too much eggshell in the mixture because I tell you what, you know like sandwiches when they get eggshell in, it's gross isn't it? We'll try not to get eggshell in. I managed it, alright, so there we are. That's that. So there we are. Two eggs in the middle, yeah. And we're going to gradually bring that flour in, bit by bit. Like that. But... You must water your milk down as well, that's quite important. So let's get some milk. Now I always keep my milk in the fridge. <laughs> because no, no, seriously, because if I leave it outside it goes all like yogurty and the, the last time I did I got the shits really bad. So I've learned from that. Now I keep my milk in the fridge. How much milk do you put in? That much. You need that much milk. Are you right. guess, is that guesswork? No, that's no, very accurate. Mm. It's very, very accurate. Oh, nice. That much milk, and then we need some water with the milk. 
How do we do yeah? Just normal every day. Normal. I've got draft water here in the house because <laughs> mm. I use so much water. <laughs> that I've got draft. And I'm going to put this much water in with the milk. Okay. Perfect. Now that's all ready to go in a minute. So I put that there. So about that much. A little bit of salt. Now I've got to get on with mixing this fucking mess together. And my arms are aching. <laughs> the thing is, if you put the the other stuff in. Now it'll get lumpy. You've really got to work the egg into your to your flour before you start. All right, let's get quite mixed in there. Make sure there's no flour sticking on the side, and make sure there's no flour sticking on your fork like that. You do not want that. You'll, you'll get all your flour off, and make sure it's all mm. that. See, that's all. It's all gooey, all mixed together like that. Yeah. Now we're going to add our milk, like that, a little bit. Oh, we will love that. Hey? Eh? You'll love that. You'll like that. Nice, nice, nice. And then we mix that in. Don't worry about the lumps right now. In fact, don't worry about lumps at all. We get a lumpy pancake. It's tough, isn't it? You should have thought about that before you ordered it. And if you haven't ordered it, you should be lucky you're getting one at all. Right. Now, to our lumpy, horrible mixture. <laughs> it's not going well. We've got to put um, some of our melted brontosaurus rendering. Uh, butter, butter, I mean. Now we've got to put two level tablespoons. We've got, where's a tablespoon? I washed it up. Oh, there it is. Two tablespoons. So this is the only bit of measuring I'm going to do. All right, two tablespoons. One. One. <laughs> no, I got full up, so you don't even reflect. Two tablespoons of butter Let's into our mixture. Yeah. And the rest of the butter we're going to keep there. Even though it's a non stick pan, we're going to be popping that in the pan. Fucking, fucking hell. If you are a chap that cracks one off quite a lot, you're going to find this a lot easier than perhaps a woman where they just flick. You know, if you do crack one off a lot, you're really going to be able to get into this. A bit lower. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> like this, mix it up, yeah? Now, what we're looking for is the consistency of sperm. <laughs> so, that's too. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's not like mine, so. So not? What's no. wrong with your spoon? It doesn't have lumps in it, it's got like tadpoles floating in it. Mm. So I'm going to continue mixing milk in now until we get something that resembles cream. Put the rest of the uh, milk in, which I carefully measured out. Lumps, even though it looked really badly... I see badly. it from this angle. Most it's alright. Most of those lumps it's now have come out nice and smooth. Okay, so we're nearly ready now. Because we've got butter in here, we've got quite a low flame. I'm going to turn the flame up a bit. And as soon as you start in the butter crackling a little bit, you know you're about right. Now you need a ladle. You've got to have a ladle for pancakes. Very important. Here's what I made a minute ago out of plastic. That's looking good. I'll wait for that to get a temperature and we'll be off with our first pancake of the night. 